Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again. In today's video, we are going to be tackling the Game Gear refurb. Now, for those of you who know, Game Gears have a lot of capacitors inside them. When I mean a lot, I do mean a lot. Um, quick thank you to Matthew over at um, Jelly Belly Customs. This video is not sponsored, um, but just want to say a big thank you to them for hooking me up with a glass replacement screen and some capacitors. Um, so yeah, very, very cool. But there is all of the little lighters right there and that's what we're going to have to go in and take all of the old ones off and put all of these new ones on and that looks quite scary um, but before you do anything else i just want you to all stop and say jelly belly customs with me one two three jelly belly customs i mean that is satisfying right let's get into the video so the first thing we're going to need to do is take apart the Game Gear. Now I've got two of them with me here. Now one of them is in very, very good condition and uh, it's got both of the battery covers present. The screen lens is actually in good nick, but obviously we're going to be replacing that anyway. Um, but all the buttons don't look too worn out. And then we've got this one and on this one the screen is uh, very, very scratched up. And also it doesn't work. So um, before we go inside them, I just want to show you what the common problem with these are. And then uh, we'll take them apart and uh, have a go at repairing them. So you can see there that it's like a really, really faint screen. The brightness is um, all the way up and uh, that's all we're getting. So I'm pretty certain what this means is it's the capacitors. Um, but you can actually see the gameplay there when I tilt the, uh, the device. And it does work, as far as I know, absolutely perfectly. We haven't got any sounds, um, so that's something that we're going to have to tackle. I think I just need to replace the, uh, the board. But as you can see, this one is um, in working condition. So that's what we're going to have a look at doing today. We're going to replace the capacitors. Um, there's a bunch of screws on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera to the side so that I have a bit more access. And uh, we'll crack on with the repair. Okay, so I'm now down to the, uh, the three PCBs that are basically filled with all of these capacitors that are slowly dying. And what I'm gonna have to now do is replace them. So as I mentioned before, I've bought a bunch of capacitors. Um, I got mine from Jelly Belly Customs, which is a perfect source for people in the UK. I'm not too sure about people in the US um, or if he ships to the US, but I'll leave the link to his website um, in the description below. So basically on the main um, board, we have all of these little black um, capacitors and they're covered all over the, uh, the board. And you can see them there, the little rectangular beasts. And um, I've actually wiggled one off. I just went in a phone call uh, with Matthew just to, so that he can show me how to do them because I've never actually seen uh, ones like these before. So he recommended if you wiggle them, the, uh, the legs will snap and then you can just go in there with your soldering iron and some tweezers and, and flick off the, uh, the, the legs which are left over. Now, before you get too carried away just ripping all of these off, all of these capacitors are different. So what the best thing to do is, is to remove the capacitor first, find the replacement one in the bag and then put the new one back on again and then work your way through the board like that because if you take them all off, you're not gonna know which ones go where unless you get a schematic up or something. So that's gonna be the easiest way. That's the way that I'm gonna do it. It's not really something that I can talk through while I'm doing it. So I'm just gonna set the camera to the side and uh, zoom in and speed it all up afterwards and then we'll have a chat about it. Um, you need to be careful with the soundboard. Um, they're slightly different. They don't have um, through holes to solder through. Um, so you're gonna have to remove these kind of little surface mount ones if you like. So let's go ahead and do that.
Right, so I'm now at the position where I have recapped the uh, three different PCBs, uh, the power, the sound, and the main motherboard with the screen on it. And I'm hoping now that once I put it back together, everything is gonna work. So I'm just gonna press the old screen lens out because we've obviously got a nice new glass one to go in. So that has come out rather nicely. So one of the problems I mentioned before is that some of the parts I would taken out and used for other things, and one of those things um, was the speaker. This one doesn't have uh, the connector on it. I think I took that out at some point. So what I'm actually gonna do is pick up the one that I have on the floor here and disassemble this and uh, nab the, uh, the speaker from it because as far as I know, the speaker works absolutely fine in this one. Lovely. There we go. Take that out. And then the speaker should come out now. Come on. There we go. Okay, we can put that to the side. All right. So that is that front bit pretty much done. So let's take the, uh, the back bit and work out where everything went in here. So that looks like it just slots on there. Okay, that's all right. And then uh, this little um, piece goes back on. I guess that's to stop it from shorting out on anything. Some of the uh, capacitors, you might just have to um, wiggle them around once everything's in because there's a chance that um, some of them are a little bit higher depending on how low you cut your legs. So I've just had to uh, kind of um, Tetris them round a little bit and now they're all in place so I can put the screws back on. Okay, that is everything. So let's just close this shell up. We've got to route the speaker wire around. Mix all the batteries as per usual. Okay, moment of truth. I have not tried this yet. Here we go. Oh, it flicked on and then flicked off again. Why is that? Hello. Hello. How you doing? All right. All right. Yeah, mate. Well, I've got Is some... Good news or bad news? I've got some news. It works and it's absolutely sound. All right, that's good then. I know, it's bloody brilliant. I'm well happy. <laughs> All right. The glass screen looks yeah, amazing sound. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just clicked. Because they're more plastic ones, they go dead yellow. Isn't yeah, yeah. You can't really... Right. It looks amazing. Listen to this, man. It's bloody so loud. Hang on, you're hearing yeah, it. Yeah, they're all loud, aren't they? Like, look at that. I know, it's really loud, isn't it? It's perfect. Okay, man, thank you very much. I'm going to finish the video. Can you believe people actually, uh, people actually put an amp mod in them for some reason? Why? <laughs> I don't know, they're really loud. If anything, you'd want to reduce no the idea. sound. All right, man. Okay, catch you in a bit. Catch you in a bit, mate. Bye. Bye. Matthew? Big thank you to you, mate. You're an absolute star. So halfway through the video, as you saw, unfortunately, the mod that I did, not really mod, but the repair that I did, didn't work. Um, we tried for ages, um, re-flowing the solder on all the capacitors I put, wiggling each leg, making sure they were all good, and it just didn't work. One of the things that Matthew said, Matthew, by the way, is the gentleman who runs Jelly Belly Customs. Um, he said to me that sometimes when you replace all the caps and you turn it on again, 
there's just so much new power that the whole board's not used to. Sometimes things can go wrong, things can get blown and, and capacitors and other bits and bobs will end up not working. So unfortunately, that is what happened in my case. There was also a point where I had the wrong capacitor on and I switched on with that capacitor in the wrong place, which potentially could lead to a different problem, um, blowing a little chip or something that it's not meant to, uh, to take that much power. So big thank you to Matthew, who sent me over to a replacement board. Quick disclaimer, obviously, Jelly Belly Customs isn't going to be liable for your board if it breaks, if you do end up doing this repair, although it is quite unlikely, so um, you should be absolutely fine. Just get the right capacitors in the right place as well, that will help. Um, Matthew did actually send me over two other replacement boards as well, the sound and the power board, but the ones that I have uh, and repaired work absolutely brilliantly, which makes me feel a little bit better that I didn't just, you know, do all of that work for absolutely nothing, so yeah. My board as well that I used um, and failed to repair is being sent over to Matthew who will uh, make good use out of the screen which works perfectly fine. Amazing, I'm super happy with how this has turned out. I don't actually have a Game Gear, so um, yeah, it's really nice to have one in the collection with a nice glass lens and everything sounds and runs brilliantly and also will have a little bit more longevity than uh, one that I might just buy secondhand from eBay. So yeah, super, super happy with that. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like. I've also done a Game Gear extravaganza video like many, many, many months ago. Um, so if you want to check that out, I'll link that in the description as well. And uh, yeah, so thank you again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.